In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the radius of a sphere given the volume. So let's begin by drawing a picture. So we have a sphere, which looks like a circle, but a 3D circle. And we have the radius, which is the segment that connects the center of the sphere to any point on the edge of the sphere. Now the formula that applies to this equation is this. The volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now we can plug in the numbers at this point and solve for r, or we could rearrange the equation and just plug in and, and get the answer directly. Let's do it that way. Let's solve for r. So first I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. These will cancel. So I have 3v is equal to 4 pi r cubed. Next, I'm going to divide both sides by 4 pi. So now what I have is 3v over 4 pi is equal to r to the third power. Now, to get r by itself, I need to raise both sides of the equation to the one third power or take the cube root of both sides. Three times one third is one. So we're going to get this formula. The radius of the sphere is one third, which is equivalent to being the cube root of three times the volume of the sphere divided by four pi. Now let's go ahead and plug in everything into the equation. So this is going to be 3 times 41 89 divided by 4 pi. And I'm going to use the exact value of pi in the calculator. By the way, make sure to put this in parentheses, otherwise you could get a different answer. So the radius of the sphere is approximately 10 centimeters. And you could determine the unit based on uh, what we see here. So that's how you can calculate the radius of the sphere given the volume. All right, let's try another example. Feel free to pause the video if you want to work on this example. So we're given the volume of the sphere. This time it's in cubic feet. And we need to find the radius of the sphere, but in a different unit, in inches. So what we're going to do in this problem is we're going to calculate the radius first. And it's going to be in the same unit that we see here. It's going to be in feet. And then we'll change the unit from feet to inches. So let's use the formula that uh, we used in the last problem. The radius is equal to the cube root of 3 times the volume divided by 4 pi. So let's replace V with 65.45 cubic feet. We'll talk about the units as well. Divided by 4 pi. And let's use the exact value of pi. So you should get that R is approximately 2.5. Now, notice that we have the cube root of feet cube. So when you take the cube root, I'm just going to write it here real quick. If you take the cube root of feet cube, the threes will cancel. So you just get the unit feet. This is equivalent to raising this to the one-third power. Three times one-third is just one. So the radius is just going to be just feet, not feet squared or feet cubed. Now that we have the radius of the sphere in feet, let's go ahead and convert it to inches. Now keep in mind, there's 12 inches in a foot. So that's our conversion factor. So let's start with what we have. 
and then in the next fraction we'll write 12 inches per foot. We'll write it in such a way that the unit feet will cancel leaving us with inches. So it's simply 2.5 times 12 and so the radius is 30 inches. So that's how you can calculate the radius of the sphere given the volume if the unit changes as well.